what's going on everyone? Fast Food Toy Reviews here. Today we have Hot Wheels, so they wonderful looking toys released by McDonald's back in 2019. Let's get them opened up and have a little fun. Number one in the set is the Twin Mill Hoop. That's right, it's called the Twin Mill Hoop. And here is the little Hot Wheel car. And you had to put some stickers on here. Came with a little sticker sheet and some instructions on where you place them. And you can see it looks very nice. It's got the stickers here in the back and it goes all the way down the front. Couple of little taillights there. And there's no gimmick with these, no pullback feature to just simply roll along. And it comes with a few other little goodies. And here it comes with some instructions. So we'll pop this open, give you a quick look at these. And so inside it just shows you how it's supposed to function. Just take your car and you run it through there. And I, I don't know what the deal is with that. Like, like you can just, I guess you could put a tent over it or something. <laughs> I don't know. And then that's what it's supposed to look like when you get it all put together and nothing on the back. So that's cool. Instructions are always helpful. So you have this little hoopy loop thing and you have the base right here. And it's pretty simple as long as you don't drop everything. Basically what you do, it's like a ramp. So what you do is you place it on. You see a little, little notch right there and it just tabs in right like this. Come on, get in there and get it lined up and secure. There we go. And then you, you have a couple of little door flaps right here. And then you have some tabs here and they kind of line up right here. That's so all you do is push them on. There we go. It's like hinged on there. So then we grab this one, same thing, pop it on. And now you got some flappy doors and a little ramp and there is your little hoop. And you take your little Hot Wheel car. And I'm not really sure what to make of this car. Actually, it's really cool. And I'm not sure what kind of car it would be. Any guesses? <laughs> I have no idea, I'm not a car guy. Oh, all I know is what an F-150 is. <laughs> I know what a truck is. All right, so what you do, make sure this is lined up properly. Make sure we got this on here. Nope, we got to make an adjustment real quick here. And get this lined up. And ah, there we go. <laughs> so now it's, now it's lined up. And then all you do is you take your little Hot Wheel car and race it, shoot it through. <laughs> you just shove it through there like that. No, no, no. No. Okay. <laughs> Come on. Oh, there we go. That's right. We did it. I'm like evil couldn't evil reincarnated. There we go. I am the man, the myth, the legend. And there you go. <laughs> it's the Twin Mill hoop set. Number two in the set is the Blast Speeder Blast Off Gate. That's a unique name. And I like this one. This is cool. I like the purple. Got the little chrome on the wheels. It's yellow. Kind of looks nice. See all the stickers I had to put on. So each one of these, you're going to have to use some, some special technique. These tiny little stickers. Oh. Oh, I love the stickers. And it came with three little pieces right here and everything just kind of like fits together. So you got the two pieces of track right here. Can I just connect these? Very simple. Slide that together, tabs in. And then you have this part right here, which is like a bracket brace thing. Kind of, it's supposed to kind of look like metal, but it's not, it's just plastic. And then it just tabs on here and here. It just kind of fits on there like it's hinged. And it doesn't balance very well. So you kind of have to hold it right here at the base. Then you put your little car on there, like so, and then look at that, that's it. That's what it does, <laughs> very simple. But yeah, very cool, I like it, so there you go. It's the Blitz Speeder Blast Off Gate. Up number three is the Bone Speeder Track Switcher. Yes, the Bone Speeder, look at this thing, it's kind of cool, it's got some shiny red, like chrome on the tires there. Look at this thing, this is kind of neat, look at the exhaust pipe sticking out. I like this one. Look at the tiny little sticker you got to put in. These things all come with a little mini sheet of stickers. And, and if you have tiny little fingers, you're probably okay. But I need to use tweezers to help me get these stickers on here. So if you enjoy placing stickers, you're absolutely going to love this set just for the stickers. And so here is the switcher part. And then here is a real quick look at what you can do here. So it gives you... A little, a little example of what you can do with the switcher. So it goes left to right. You can set up, looks like they had some old cardboard paper towel tubes there, like an obstacle, like a, I don't know, you can just smash them through. They got some pencils there. I don't know, I'm just rambling. And then here is the switcher piece right here. And that's what it does, this switches back and forth. And then you got another attachment right here. You can attach a piece of track here and here. Basically all you do is just run this up and it shoots this way and then it switches it and then it would you can make a track and this would come back around this way and then it would stop. But 
If you go this way, it kind of switches it back this way. And then it would just keep going back and forth like this. And then it would go from left to right, left to right. So every time you go back and forth, it would switch automatically. And just keep your, your car going in different directions all the time. Very cool. And that's it. So there you go. It's the Bone Speeder Track Switcher set. Up at number four is the D-Muscle Tight Turn Ramp. D-Muscle Tight Turn Ramp. Look at this one. Now, this one's cool. I like the look of this one. You can see where I put all the different stick stickers on here. It makes it look really cool and sharp. Even got a little Hot Wheels logo on the back there. Very nice. And again, here is a look at what it comes with. It shows you what you can do with this. So you can see right here, you can set up your car on top of a little shoebox or something, get a little tube, shoots it around into another tube, into a cup. Kind of neat. And that's it. There's really nothing crazy going on here. It's just a little turn ramp. So you just kind of go up in here and it kind of shoots it off this way. I guess I suppose it could kind of come this way. It kind of gets hung up though. But I would imagine it's designed to maybe just kind of go this way. And it kind of seems like it gets stuck right here. But maybe not if it's going fast enough around your little racetrack you got set up. I guess it would work just fine and kind of shoot through there. And the way it's ramped and angled, it probably would come off of here and shoot this really extra fast around the turn there. And that's it. So that's what you do with that. There you go. It's the D muscle tight turn ramp set. Number number five is the winning formula fulcrum ramp. And this is the formula racing car, which is just spectacular looking. <laughs> what? Number number five. <clears throat> Up at number five is the Winning Formula Fulcrum Ramp, which looks awesome. Look at this thing. It's like a Formula car racer. This is neat. I like it particularly because it's it's red, and that's my favorite color. And you can see where I put all these little stickers in there. Oh, man, these stickers, I tell you. <laughs> They're a pain in the butt sometimes, but I tell you. No. Take the... Number five in the set is the Winning Formula Fulcrum Ramp, and this looks amazing. It's like a Formula race car, and it's red, so, you know, red's my favorite color, so I really, really, really actually like this a lot more than all the other ones. This is neat. And that's it. So you can see all the little stickers. I put stickers. This one had a lot of stickers, actually, to place everywhere, so hopefully you got some tweezers. If you get this set, you're going to need them. And then here is the little pamphlet that came with it. It shows you what's going on here. So basically, you have the fulcrum ramp set here, and you can kind of use it to launch onto this thingy here. And <laughs> I don't know. You got to use your imagination. So you know what a fulcrum is, right? It's like it's like a balancing point, like this. So you got the three little notches, so you can adjust it. It kind of fits right in there, like this. You can set it in the middle, to the left or to the right, and then it just kind of balances, like this here. And then you can offset it like that, lean it this way, or set it off to this side, further to the left, lay it in there, and now it kind of does that. And then you can kind of try to just launch your car, and it's got a lip, and it's kind of like offset, so it's going to keep banging in there. Let's see if I can hold it right here and try it. <laughs> this is great. And then it's supposed to just kind of like launch off of there, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. That's it. That's what it does. So that's what this set does. So there you go. It's the winning formula fulcrum ramp. Up next, we have the Night Shifter Gate Crasher. Night Shifter Gate Crasher. This one is awesome. Man, what a hot rod this thing is. Number three, my favorite number. And it's in red, so it's like a double win for me. This one's awesome. Got the cool pinstriping going on up here around the engine block. Nice Hot wheel sticker on the side. Some red chrome on the tires. Oh, yeah, this is nice. I like the sky blue coloring. Beautiful looking little Hot Wheel car. This is cool. And then here is the pamphlet. Let's take a look and see what's going on with this. We'll open that up and you can see different stuff you can do here. So you create a little ramp and it runs down through and crashes through the gates and off he goes. <laughs> That's cool. And here is the little part right here. You got the little swiveling gates and they're just kind of like riveted in there so they're not removable it comes attached like that and it looks like it's kind of like wood molded in there and that's it so let's see let's see what happens let's let's, let's crash it you ready here we go and we just kind of do this 
and pow, <laughs> that's it. Of course, you have all the other track pieces. You could put a play set together, right? So we're going to get to that eventually and see what we can do with that, the limited amount of room we have here. And that's it. So there you go. It's the Night Shifter Gate Crasher. Number seven in the set is the Gazella R Jump. Gazella. It's spelled with a G. You could say Gazella, but I'm just going to go with Gazella. And you can see where I put all the little Hot Wheels stickers there, 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 there. Some pinstriping on the sides right there. Very nice. Got some shiny blue chrome going on. And it's got this like space age kind of look to it. That's different. Kind of neat. I like it. And then here we have the little pamphlet inside. It gives you an idea of what we're looking at here. So you can see right here, you build your little ramp. comes down right through here. And then it kind of launches up and into a cup, I suppose. Kind of, sort of. And then here is the little track piece. And it looks like maybe lava right there. It's just kind of molded into the plastic right there. So it doesn't come out or anything. It's all kind of one piece. And that's it. So you got like this really short little stumpy piece. And then you take your, your Gazella R car and kind of just launches it off of this. I don't know if I can get this to work. Let's see, maybe hold it under here like this. So he kind of wants to hit like this. So you're going to have to get like some other track bits and put it on there and kind of get this to work right but the way it shows it in the picture you kind of just launch it <laughs> you launch it like that i guess i don't know <laughs> i don't know what to make of this but either way the car is really cool and there you go it's the gazella r jump car and finally the last step at number eight is the gt hunter ring of fire and this is cool it's got the neon green going on this really off colored window coloring i'm not sure what kind of color that is but it looks really neat it's got some orange underneath it really just sets this off very nice clear bits on the back very cool looking car i really like it some chrome on the tires see where i put all the stickers some striping up here big sticker on the front there very nice okay here is the little insert pamphlet that came with it gives you an idea what you can do with this little set and you can see you set up a little thingy here and it goes through the ring of fire and down into the little tub there. I guess I don't know. Okay. Well, here is the ring of fire. And, of course, it came apart. And I had to you just kind of just tab this together like so. Fits right in there nicely. And there is the plastic swinging clear bit, which is supposed to represent the flame. And then you take your little GT Hunter car and race it through there. <laughs> That's it like so oh these don't function very well it keeps it like it hits right here and then it it kind of just like throws it off the track let's try this again <laughs> come on oh it doesn't want to go backwards okay here we go ready and okay we kind of got it to work but you get the idea and that's it so there you go it's the gt hunter ring of fire and here's just a quick look at how I kind of mishmashed everything together. Now you can use your imagination and kind of spin the tracks and kind of interlock them and kind of make up your own little sort of track racing set. Some don't really go together very well. Like I'm not sure how this would kind of apply inside all this, but that's the great thing about this set is that you could, you could literally spend hours just putting different sets together and kind of configuring it and making your your own set your own track and kind of coming up with your own idea it's it's, it's very very fun i mean i love playing this like so I, I basically just did like a generic setup here where i took the ring of fire and i set this thing up here and then it goes through the ring of fire and then you got the little tight turn ramp up here it comes down you know like like this here and you can have it come around like this or you can open this up and then have it shoot through there and kind of go that way through the gates and all that stuff and <laughs> I, I hit Raphael my ninja turtle buddy and and that's it it's just a fantastic little set I love it and there you go everyone Thanks for watching. You've just seen the McDonald's 2019 Hot Wheels set of eight. Fantastic set. I highly recommend it for all the Hot Wheel collectors out there. You'll absolutely love it. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care. We'll see you again next time.